Hello, this is Jeff Neville for Selective Imagery. Welcome to Jetty Walk with the Z9. Well, we're going to do something different and go out to the North Beach in Huntington Beach State Park and walk out to the jetty. We start off with enjoying the sunrise, watching the waves come in. And you can see a portion of the jetty out there. And there is a person along the... Uh, to the left of the sun which is blanketed by clouds right now and uh, he's walking out there to the end I assume but uh, it's very relaxing it's about 1.4 miles from once you get on the beach to get out to the jetty which you know for a young guy like me is a little bit of work but uh, I just walk on the sand where it's wet uh, it makes it a little bit easier but I'll tell you, by the end of the two plus hours I was out here doing video and stills, my knees are shot. But uh, to be to only be 20 again, huh? So let's enjoy this sunrise for a few minutes. This gentleman's walking out there, and I'll tell you, it looks like if he got a ladder, he could reach the sun. That's a pretty good walk to get out to where that guy is. Now, I'll be walking out there, but I'm not going to take a right to be heading out towards the ocean. I'm going to be hanging a left, which is going to bring me... Uh, to the shoreline um, which is a, a different beach area set back from what I'm walking on right now and uh, there we'll see the dunes where a lot of nesting birds are um, but along the way along the walk we see a ghost crab and you know they're there you see the holes this one's been injured, had a leg removed, I'm sure, by a bird. But normally they, they just hear the vibrations when you're walking and they head for their burrows. And they disappear in their burrows, usually before you even get a chance to see them. Now this is a, a different ghost crab who was just outside his burrow and in no hurry to take off. Some don't make it, some don't fare so well. And that's just the way it is. A bird gets to them, takes what it wants, and well, the flies and everything else do their thing. Dead fish on the beach, somewhat common. But you're gonna see this fish in an awful lot of images because it fed a lot of different birds. I mean, nothing goes to waste. I mean, this gull, you know, it's a hard time to pick it up and try to walk around with it. For those that are interested, the gull pictures here, as well as the crab, were like at ISO 10 to 12,800. But it's a very strong bird. Here it is, trying to drag it towards the water. Now, where there's one gall, there's always a bigger gall. And this ring-billed gall decides, well, I'm going to watch over this fish because maybe I want to make a claim to it. But the other one is still hanging around. The ring-billed gall gets a little curious and decides, well, I'm going to put my head down here and see if there's still a heartbeat. I don't think so. I think the fish is pretty well dead. Now this is a video clip walking towards another beach area. This would be taking a left once I hit the jetty. 
and then I'm going to just kind of pan around and show you the vegetation, the grasses, um, you know, the dunes and everything that support a lot of life in here. Now, it's hard to see. There's pockets of water here or there where sometimes there's birds in there. And as we continue the pan, we'll, uh, we'll get to some other areas that I'll talk about. Obviously, you can see some houses. We're working our way closer to the um, to the beach that we were walking on get there in a second or two. Guess I lied about that second or two. Uh, you can see some some buildings and uh, houses, and now this area here where you have the water, the grasses, the dunes, um, and now you see the ocean on the other side. Uh, this is where a lot of nesting birds are, and you really can't get close enough to get any pictures of them. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, but. You really can't, when you're on the beach side, they have fencing and signs, you can only go so far. So you really can't stand on the very top of the dune from the other side on the beach to, to kind of look over and see if you can see any birds because they have it roped off. Like I said, sometimes you'll get one that'll go into one of those pockets of water uh, with the reeds and tall grasses and just kind of hang out like this great egret. And here's a few pictures I took as I was walking down towards the shore on the jetty. There's a fair amount of willets, and that's what you saw uh, in the beginning. Uh, this is a view back to the ocean uh, with, with a boat in the picture. I kind of like that. And here's a video clip now. Here I'm walking back and showing you uh, the jetty uh, as it goes out uh, to the very end, you know, towards the ocean. And you can see how long it is. It's a decent walk and you know like I said it's 1.4 miles to get to it and a lot of these fishermen you know they have pullable wagons and stuff where they they can have you know five or six fishing poles on it with their bait and everything else they want to bring with them lunch and it's, it's a pretty good walk when you're pulling something along like that I mean some of them will just do surf casting from the shore they won't walk out as far as the jetty but there are a few that will uh, do that extra walk. Now, this is shooting back in the, towards the direction I have to walk uh, to get back to the parking area where I park my car. And you can see the hotels and whatnot. And eventually on the right hand corner you're going to see a yellow flag. That's where I have to walk back to. You can see the yellow flag there about in the middle of the screen.
So at this point, my knees are already kind of sore, and I know I got a pretty good walk back, so I'm not looking forward to it. Of course, on the way back, I stop. I'll film other things that I see, and here's the Willets once again. Now they eat fish and they eat crabs and you're going to see one uh, eventually get a crab and make a run for it to get away from everybody else. I mean once one bird has some food man everybody just like chases it down. And sometimes they get something and then they drop it and they lose it in the surf and they can't find it again. There were no snowies out here today. Sometimes you'll see them. Sometimes you'll see some great egrets. Um, but there weren't any. Okay, there's a crab. Here's where it gets interesting. You think it's a, a running back that just picked up a fumble running to the end zone. This guy's taken off like his you know, tail feathers are on fire. Wants to get away from everybody else and make sure nobody steals that crab from him. Pretty good run, I'll tell you that. And like most of the other birds, they'll pull the legs off. They always do. I mean, they want to rip the claws off, make sure they can't get hurt by the crab. So sometimes they'll rip the legs off and eat them. Sometimes they're very picky. They just want what's in the middle. They don't want to bother with the legs. So it all kind of depends on the bird. Some eat every little piece. Some just go for the middle. So at this point, that's all that's left is the basic shell of the, of the crab. And he or she takes off again with it, can't handle it very well, keeps dropping it. Makes a run for it again. Because as you'll soon see, uh, soon see in the foreground, there'll be another bird that starts chasing to try to get the food. There's one in the background as well, so. There we go, there's the one in the foreground. Here's some still images. I never saw it actually eat this doggone crab. I mean, and I followed him. I thought he was gonna have it here, but it didn't work out. He ended up spitting it out. never saw him actually eat that crab. I'm sure he did eventually, but, or somebody did. Now along the walk back, there was a morning dove on the side where the dunes were. And then once in a while, I just like to take a picture of a pattern so I just took some a picture of the sand here and here's that same poor fish that was picked on earlier now a sanderling decides it wants to get some of the food like I said this one fish fed so many different birds it's crazy and here a willet is looking for something else to eat. Sometimes it's hard to tell what they actually get. I don't know if they eat snails or not. 
or hermit crabs or just the larger crabs. It's got a nugget sized piece of something here that it's that it's going to swallow down. And the sanderlings like running around. They usually run right along the wave action. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and feel free to leave a comment. Remember, enjoy life, capture some of it. Until next time, take care.